more than half a century ago, Neil Armstrong took mankind's giant leap on the moon. Neil Armstrong, 38-year-old American, standing on the surface of the moon. Our visit to moon taught us that it's completely empty and uninhabited. This July 20th, 1969. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Is the same true for Mars? Can humans ever colonize the Mars? Or can the red planet itself host life? Can we build buildings on Mars? To find out, watch this video till the end. Hi, I'm Roshan, and you're watching Astrophy. Today, we will find out, can humans live on Mars? Mars is the most populated planet when it comes to robots. We haven't had any humans on Mars. However, SpaceX has revealed its grand plan for establishing a human settlement on Mars as soon as 2024. But the question is, can they? Mars has captured the imagination of humans for decades. NASA isn't the only ones who have their eyes on Mars. Other private companies are already bringing up with their own ideas for the red planet. Scientists have speculated on everything from nuking the planet into habitability or to create a magnetic shield around the planet to encourage it to grow its own atmosphere. First of all, getting to Mars is not easy at all. On average, it takes about seven months to get to Mars. The food and water that our rocket can carry wouldn't even last for seven months, which is why we must launch multiple rockets at the same time. A two-way trip will take about 21 months, as Mars and Earth have an elliptical orbit, which means Mars and Earth won't be close to each other all year round. Let's say we somehow made it to Mars, but how would we carry our supplies? NASA estimated for a crew of six people they would need 3 million pounds of supplies for their minimum 21-month journey. Our current space shuttle can only lift about 50,000 pounds into space. This means we need to take 60 shuttles to get all our supplies into Mars. Let's say we figure out the way around this and take as much as we want. Can we survive now? Unfortunately, atmosphere of Mars is made up of 95% of carbon dioxide which means us humans cannot breathe on Mars. Apart from this, Mars is a cold place with average surface temperature reaching negative 21 degrees Celsius. However, temperature can drop to negative 62 degrees Celsius in the night. Martian dust is finely grainer, which is toxic and terrible to humans if we are exposed to it. And the last thing we need to worry about would be radiation. Since Mars lacks an atmosphere and magnetic field, it is showered by high-energy solar rays and particles. However, with our current technology, we can easily overcome all these problems. The atmospheric pressure in Mars is far below what humans can tolerate. It is likely we need to construct habitable structures on Mars with pressure vessels similar to spacecrafts. Opportunity Rover found water ice over Mars poles, so it will be great if we can land on the poles. However, water on Mars is scarce, and it has less water than Earth's driest place. The next thing we will need to worry about is energy. To power all our equipment, we need energy. Since Mars is 52% farther from the Sun than Earth is, the amount of solar energy that enters into its atmosphere is very low. And on top, there's a lot of dust storms, which covers sun over the time. However, the good news is Mars has no rains and clouds, so sunlight will shine throughout the year, except well dust storms. Since we are colonizing Mars, we cannot rely on food from Earth forever. The Martian soil is toxic, and we cannot grow anything on it. We will need to purify the soil first in order to grow food. On surface, gravity of Mars is only 38% to that of Earth, which will negatively impact humans' health by weakening bones and muscles. On Earth, 
Blood within our body stays 70% below the heart thanks to Earth's gravity. However, same won't be true on Mars. There will be a lot of challenges for us humans to sustain life on Mars. Communication with Earth will be straightforward. There are several satellites around the Earth's orbiters which can act as a relay. However, due to distance, it will take three minutes for a one-way signal transmission. Even if we get all these sorted, we will still need to wear spacesuits to conduct regular maintenance on equipments which will be located outside our colony. For example, solar panel. We will definitely not put them inside our colony. Everything is challenging. However, in my opinion, first we need to do these activities on the moon and have a colony there. Then we can use the moon as a petrol station to get to Mars and beyond. Thank you for watching the video. If you have found any value in the video, consider subscribing. If you want to help us find the next topic for our video, please let us know in the comments below.